In a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest ankh Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. I'll see you again next week for my usual special. Hi, what's where you going? See you soon. Get off. Leave me alone. Damnation if you don't clear out, so help me. I, I... Oh, just bugger off. <coughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. <laughs> ah! Hands up. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim, and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now please, put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. Now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... Oh, bugger. Unseen University. The home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld, and one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumours of a dragon... But sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumours of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfil their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me?
<laughs> Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch Chancellor wants to see you! Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with, with shapeness. It must be a plot element, otherwise there'd be a better label. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk, and you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumours about this dragon that supposedly is terrorising the town. Uh, uh, dragon? As in the uh, classic, far-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempts to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. Ha! Ha ha! Yes, now, don't rush me. Ow! Yes, thought so. They're shelves.
Ah. Let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Hi. Do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? I see. Yes. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, I've given up. No, not not gibbon, monkey. Hey, oh, damn! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? Excellent. Good lad, Breakwind. Rinse, Windsor. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Reclamento's never-failing Dragon's Lair revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, could be. Well, that'd be easier, certainly. You've got a good, firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the University Board when we review your grant next year. Uh, we may only halve it, for example. <laughs> Sir, have I ever told you of my ambition to be a yak? It can be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now, gonna move on. We need a staff of tumultuous turbatogy, a spiral of never failing induction, a miniature creature of excitable chitters, and a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Uh, well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go! Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. All oh, right. Hey! <laughs> a girl. What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl. Why are you Why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. <laughs> I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. Yes, very good at pickling eels she was. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. No young twerps like you think they can come in here, ravish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. They all want my magic stick. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look. 
I don't want your wretched stick. So, so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? Hmm? You devilish young trouser. Well, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. Now look, this is not the problem that I wanted to address. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, but could I ask you some questions? Clear off! And no magic in the kitchen! One more spell goes off in this place and I'm going to complain to the Arch-Chancellor! Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard, but they found out my parents were married. Well, I'll catch you later then. you open the gate? They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah. Yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives them monkeys? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Well, I'll catch you later then. Dissected by the river Ankh, the city of Ankh Morpork is the oldest existing city on the Discworld. It is really two cities Proud Ankh, turnwise of the river, and Pestilent Morpork on the Widdishin side. Although the pestilence is quite democratic and in fact covers most of the city, it is said that all roads lead to Ankh Morpork. But this is in fact incorrect. The truth is that all roads lead away from Ankh Morpork. This poor beast looks under the weather. Quite a trim little cart, that. So, anyway, how's the wife? Oh, not so bad. How's yours? Oh, doing well, doing well. We thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. 
Leaf mould. Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mould? Um, I meant caramel. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? I thought she was watching her weight. Why should she watch her weight? Well, you know, after last time, when she accidentally ate that camel. Well, she's not overweight. She's just, uh, oh, she's just cuddly. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. So, um, how's your wife then? Did she get that thing off her face? Thing? What thing? Uh, the hairy thing. That's a beauty spot, that is. Oh, oh, I see. A bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it? No, I mean, in area. Look, moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. What, on women? Listen, are you calling my wife ugly? No. Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. I don't think you should pay him any attention. That's love, that is. Pulling up with an old bag of a wife. What? Well, your friend here was saying how massively unattractive your wife actually is. No, just mostly unattractive. I'm, I'm sure she actually, she actually got in a beauty. Help! Lost. Small dog. Answers to the name of Gaspode. Talks too much. If found, keep. Uh, is he one? One what? Um, uh, one of them, you know. What? With a whip? Uh, yes, yes. He's one of them. Probably. He's wearing a hat. Well, I, I'm not standing for it. Young man, are you one of them? I? It's all depending on his destiny. I'm the kind of man that went out and made his own destiny. What out of? Wood? Come again? Well, you, you carve a destiny, don't you? Could be made of ivory. Oh, can't get the elephants these days. How's about iron? Then you could forge a mighty destiny. Too heavy. It has to be wood. What? There we are, young man. Your destiny should be made of wood. Don't go to the desert, though. It'll get termites, and then you'll have a holy destiny. Had to struggle a bit for that one, sorry. Ah, well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I hear destiny calling. Money pouch, sir. Very good, Nick. Cost you one shilling. No, I already have a money pouch, thank you. Are you sure? Stolen? The damn thing's been stolen. Good thing I was at hand with a replacement then, innit, sir? Wait a minute. This looks exactly like my money pouch. You see, sir? You'll hardly even know your old pouch has gone. Let's service for you. Now look. Did you just steal this? Don't look at me, sir. I'm just a lovable street urchin, I am. <laughs> urchin? Yeah, you know, one of them hard things that lives on seaside rocks. The ones that end in points. It's a starfish, isn't it? Is it? All right, sir. I'm a lovable street starfish, then. <laughs> Sounds a bit fishy to me. I'm just keen to get you to shell out, Gov. Like a second pouch, sir. Just as a reserve, so to speak, in case the worst should happen. Look, if it's not too much to ask, how did you do that? What? Give away a trade secret? Tell me how you do it, or I'll turn your spleen into a tank of sea monkeys. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? 
Ah, oh, well, when you put it that way, Guff, look, it's easy. Just practice on those old guys over there and get your hand in. Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Uh, so, uh, this word you cannot stand. Uh, tell me how it makes you feel. Ooh. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, I see. A case of latent aggression, no doubt. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I, I want you to relax and tell me about your innermost feelings. Uh, when I say the word in question. Ooh, that's it, that's it. Now, here we go. Monkey. Ah! <laughs> Ibble, Ibble, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes, the eyes. The awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah! Get them off me. They're all green. Who, me? Remove stains while it disinfects. Makes whites brighter than bright. Look, I'm afraid I can't handle this right now. Millennium hand and shrimp. If you'll excuse me, I believe I'm needed somewhere else. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Now, why is she dressed as a milkmaid? Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Greetings, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Eh? It's very therapeutic. I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not... not plotting? Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Right you are, sir. Browse away.
Ah, yes, all right. Hello. Young man, you will have the honor of first witnessing my new ensemble. I shall now set a trend that will rock the fashion world. Carly, yeah, suit yourself. What? Suit yourself. I mean, it, it, it might not be your style. And what would you know about it? I never take fashion advice from a man wearing a dress. Well, at least I suppose it's a hair roller. Is that a curler in your hair? Impudent wretch, of course it is. Just asking. So, it's uh, definitely a roller then. What? In your hair. A hair roller. Well, of course it is. If it wasn't a roller, then why would it be there? Uh, you wouldn't... Um... Wouldn't what? You wouldn't say it's a bit... A bit, uh... Unusual at all? Good heavens, no. Right, you are then. Oh, so you're... Having your hair set in a traditional style. Traditional? With rollers and curls. Oh, yes, it should look very quaint. Quaint? Wait, yeah, well, well, a busy woman like yourself can't always be expected to keep up with the new trends. What? Don't be absurd. Barbara, I shall have my hair set straight. A very wise choice, madam. Hello there. Hmm? Oh, hello. I suppose it's quite a sensuous sort of job, then, playing with women's hair all day. Oh, not really. Not with the type of women we get in here. No silken locks, no golden magic drifting beneath me scissors. Nothing like my wondrous little milkmaid. <sighs> Eureka! I found it. Finally, it works. My octocellulose has been perfected. What works? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing works at all. Oh, go on. You were saying something right now. No, I wasn't. It was all about octo-something. Shh! Not so loud. All right. Put wizard's oath on this. You have to swear to keep all this a secret. Oh, all right. Well? Well, what? Well, let's hear it then. It's a secret oath. I promise I won't listen. No, that's no good. Tell you what, I'll have to say it in mime. Well, you can't say further than that. Anyway, here before you, you see a new age in entertainment. With my new octocellulose, I'll revolutionise the world. Think of it. Pictures that move. Eh? My fortune is made. Moving pictures will soon be the talk of the age. You've been standing too close to the boiling mercury again, haven't you? Every true genius has his vice. It helps us to get ahead. Putting your head in a vice is the best idea you've had all day. Moving pictures, how does it work? Well, the strips of octocellulose are transparent. When you paint on them and shine light through from behind, it projects a picture onto a wall. You just run the strip through a box filled with gears and springs. It's a bit noisy. Ah, the clicking noise is all part of the atmosphere. What paints the pictures? There's an imp inside this box. All I do is open up the window and the imp makes the pictures. He paints the frames as fast as I can wind the strips past him. An imp, eh? Hmm. Anyway, what are you going to call this new system? Nah, I'm... I'm not sure. Well, it's easy enough. What is their most unique characteristic? They're moving pictures that click. Well, there you go. Call them that. Of course. Clickies. Thank you. Clickies? Leave the camera alone. Looks like a little home for a very little creature. <laughs> Hey, 
maybe it's a little home. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. A bit slippery, is it? It's fine, I assure you. Maybe you'd better just spit on your hands. That's going to make it even slippier, isn't it? It might be worth a try. But then I'll slip and die. Is that really so bad, philosophically speaking? It is from where I stand, yes. Death does have its positive aspects, you know. It's easy to do lying down. Also, have you ever considered the saving on food, rent and clothing? Are you saying that this is my appointed time to die? Well, since you put it like that, no. But I thought, there he is. And I'm happening to be passing, you know. It's a kind of outreach policy. If it's all the same, I'd rather wait. Oh, if you insist. I'll see you later. How much later? Don't start reading any long books. Wizards have the honour, albeit a dubious one, of being claimed personally by death. Not only that, but wizards can actually see and talk with death. Despite rumours to the contrary, he is not a cheery dinner companion. Magnificent! Now get out there and slay them! Assassin training track. Well, I suppose they have to be taught somewhere.
Reversing gravity is the last straw. I've had it. I'm off to complain. Spells, wizards, anti-gravity. It's unnatural, that's what it is. So who pays for it, I say? Me, that's who. Up the stairs to complain, then back down to the kitchen. Up and down, up and down, like a... Like a... Like what kids play with on a string. A kite? What? Yes, that's the one. Up and down these stairs like a kite. Good, but, but, but off with you, there's still more work to be done. That's good, but, but, but off with you, there's still more work to be done. That's good, but, but, but off with you, there's still more work to be done. That's good, but, but, but off with you, there's still more work to be done. Excellent! Well done, that man! Now that you've finished all the tedious work, all we need is a truly heroic wizard to actually trace the lair and take all of the go g g g uh, glory <laughs> All right, Breakwind, you may go and try to do something useful around here. No more big dinners for slackers. Right, well, I'll just, uh, just slink off down this corridor, shall I? Yes, good day, Rincewater. And you'll, uh, you'll handle the gold. I mean, the, the dragon. You'll just, um, you'll just take care of everything. Yes, 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 yes. quite right. Perhaps I should volunteer to assist, sir, having had hands-on experience in your actual dragon locating equipment. Don't be a ridiculous man. We need someone of character and virility, of strength and guile. Someone, in short, who is not you. Um, what has a hundred eyes, drinks blood and is bright purple? Good grief, boy. How should I know? Well, there's one right behind you, sir. I hope that's not a valuable rug. <laughs> Rick! 
rich! I'm rich! I'm fabulously wealthy! I'm comfortably well off! It's all mine and no big ugly lizard is going to stop me! Ahem. However, when I say ugly, I don't, of course, mean lacking in considerable wit, charm, charisma, attractiveness, teeth, claws. Hush. Yes, sir. I'm shutting up now, sir. I am angered, little man. I am angered and I am sorrowful. An evil brotherhood has pulled me from my ancient place of rest and have bent me to their will. I am being used for evil ends. They are inside my head. I cannot stand it. I am not naturally an evil creature. I wish only to return to my home dimension. Seek out this evil brotherhood and destroy the spells that control me, or else they shall force me to kill again. I cannot fight off their powers much longer. Ah, yes, well, how do I break this spell? You must uncover the secret brotherhood. Each of them must, must own a golden artifact. Six artifacts used to summon me here. Bring the golden trinkets to me, and I can sever the brotherhood's control over my mind. Yes, but where do I find this brotherhood? You said that it was secret. Seek out the one who stole the Book of Dragon Summoning from the Unseen University Library. He shall lead you to the others. Well, um, I, I suppose I'd better get out and get on with the job then. <laughs> oh, by the way, they really are building me up for a major rampage. If you fail to stop them, you will probably end up gritting down someone's path next winter. Ah, uh, right. Gotcha. <laughs>